case is done. What do you think? Nice and sturdy. All right, let's get started on this bookcase uh, door secret room thing that we're doing. But first, we got to talk math because number one thing when you're doing a project like this is you got to figure out how big you need for this bookcase. So we need to figure out if I can fit school folders at least on the bottom shelf. So I have to make it deep enough to fit these folders and any other books, bigger ones. But I want the top shelf, you know, to be able to handle just regular books. So. I measured this out, I think 9 inches depth on the sides, and then it'll have face frame on the front which is 3 quarters, so that's 9 and 3 quarters. I think that'll be right, and I don't want to make it too deep because I want this to be a decent size. I don't want it to be too deep for smaller books, so I'm trying to go in between. This might stick out a little bit over the edge, but that's fine with me, I just don't want it too deep. So I think what I'm going to do is, I figured out we're going to do like four foot tall on the sides because I think that'll work out good. And then the width, so how I figured out the width is we're dealing with, if you know how the studs are, so there's studs every 16 inches. So I want to put it in between three studs. So in between the two studs, I'm going to take the middle stud out. So that's 32 inches on center from the stud to the stud if I take the middle one out and just add cross pieces at the top and the bottom. So if you know, studs are an inch and a half thick. So we have to counter for that too. If we figure that it, it's three quarters of an inch in from the center each way. So you have to minus off an inch and a half total. So now we're at 30 and a half inches is the opening if we cut the drywall to the stud. So what we're gonna do is we'll make the shelf a little bit smaller than that because I still wanna be able to put molding on it. So I'm thinking we'll take like a half or three quarters of an inch off of that. So I'm thinking We'll do it like 30 inches, maybe 29 and 3 quarters. That'll give me room for it to swing in and out back to open up, but still leave enough room that we only have to overlap like a half an inch on the, on the molding. So this is the stuff you need to think about when you're doing something like this. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut the sides first, which are gonna be four foot tall, nine inches deep. So we'll cut two of those. I'm gonna use three quarter plywood, I think. The birch plywood I have is good enough. I think it'll be nice and smooth for painting because we're just going to paint the whole thing white. So we'll primer it and paint it. Um, so I'm going to cut all the pieces. we got to cut two top pieces. Um, what I'm going to do on the back piece is I'm going to inset it inside of the shelves because I think that'll add some sturdiness to it if I, if I get it inside of there. So I'm going to cut those to fit in between each shelf on the back. And then we Craig jig it from behind and that'll give us a nice sturdy you know, keep it from flexing, is what I'm thinking, along with the face frame on the front, because we're going to face frame the front of it. So what I want to do is, I know what I want for size, I'm going to keep the face frame pretty skinny, maybe like inch or inch and a quarter, just to cover the edges of the plywood. The face frame, um, I'll either do it MDF or I have some pine, some actual uh, pine boards here, I could make it out of pine and just paint it one way or the other, but we'll use some kind of hardwood or something that's not plywood because we don't want it to look like plywood edges. Um, but we'll build a face frame on to put on the whole outside edge so you won't see the, fin the unfinished plywood edge. So I'm going to start cutting pieces and then when I get the pieces cut, I think we're going to do three shelves. The bottom shelf will be deep and then I think we'll probably have three shelves on top of it to make the four feet. But that's what we'll, so with the height, we'll do the bottom shelf, just the height of this folder pretty much. You know, we'll make it just over the top of it because this is pretty much the tallest thing that's going to go in that bottom shelf. And then the upper shelves will probably be a little bit smaller, maybe like eight inches or something like that. Most likely there's going to be a few books or some pictures or something on it. So we'll just leave it as it is. So we got to build a, a cabinet that's 48 inches by 29 and three quarters, 29 and a half wide. And that'll fit right in our cubby when we cut the hole off. And then I ordered the hinges. Um, if you're interested in them, they're special hinge just for making these bookcases that um, I'll show you when I get them. Um, they're not in yet, but we're going to start with the bookcase first. And then uh, we'll worry about the hinges. The other thing you have to keep in mind, the hinges, the way it swings, when the bookcase swings back, it's actually going to be sticking in probably halfway into the opening. And I want to make the opening big enough to fit drywall and stuff into that room. So I have to be able to fit 48 inches wide you know, on end, 
and on a diagonal so I got to make sure that that doesn't stick in too much by my width but you have to figure something 48 by 24 the diagonal is already over 48 inches so being that I'm a couple you know six inches wider than that we should be good I'm going to double check it but I think it'll be good um, this is why you have to go through and double check everything before you start building because otherwise you know, something will get messed up so let me get started. I'm going to cut a bunch of pieces. I won't bore you with that. I already told you we're just going to cut a bunch of plywood down. And then I'll show you the pieces. I'll lay them out on here. I'll show you what it's going to look like. All right, so here's where we're at. This is the bottom. The top's right here. Three shelves in the middle. Two sides. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put the shelves. So I got this one to fit that folder. And then I'm going to make these probably three equal. Or I'll do two and then one shorter one at the top. So what I want to do next is most of this I'm going to nail and glue together, um, but I am going to do some Craig jigging here to screw down to the bottoms and the tops. And then on the back pieces, which I haven't cut yet, I'm going to Craig jig them from behind to lock everything together. So I'll glue all the shelves in and then, like I said, these back pieces are going to sit inside of here. So that'll make it sturdier and then I'll screw it all together there. But this is where we're at now. This is the size of it. And so now I'm just going to do some Craig jig. And then I'm going to measure and cut these backing pieces. And then we'll glue and screw it all together. Alright, give everything a quick sanding. Just on the faces. I got all the pieces set up. I did some Craig screws. So now we'll get it all put together here and then we'll get some primer on it. Alright. So I'm just finishing the last few screws here. You can tell I got all kinds of screws in the top to support this thing. Might be a little overkill, but I want it to be nice and sturdy since it is fairly heavy. You can see I got it all clamped down here. Hold it together while I do this. It's also holding this. You can see how I got all the shelves in here. There we go. I'm just going to let this dry. All the pieces are together. I think we'll be in good shape. The case is done. What do you think? Nice and sturdy. Not too heavy. I thought it actually would be heavier. It's not bad. So I'm going to move on. i got to build casing for this whole edge to go around. So we're going to measure that off. I don't know if I'm going to inset it or, or offset it on the outside, but I think we'll do like an inch thick. And then it'll go all the way around all these edges to cover them up could do edge banding or something like that. I like to use very real wood or MDF or something just to cover these edges. I think it comes out nicer. But I'm going to go ahead and start cutting those strips and we're going to glue them all on here. I had some of this MDF left over from the wainscoting project. So I ended up using this. It'll make a beautiful edge right on here. It's already somewhat primed in the white. So I did inch and a quarter on the sides and then all the center ones I did one inch so they'll all fit right in here and cover over these shelves real nice. Then I can just paint them. So what I'm going to do is I put one screw in here, one Craig screw. So I'm going to glue and screw these just with one screw and then let that dry as one piece. And then I'll put it on here and nail it in. It'll make a nice fit. We'll make sure we line up the shelves real nice so it's nice and clean. So let me get to just screwing this and then we'll glue it on. Here's the finished product before paint and primer. It's upside down, but you can see how I did the Craig jigging. And then I did the whole back. You can see, like I said, I inset these pieces for each shelf. And that way it adds some rigidity to it on the back here so it doesn't flex at all. It's all screwed in. So this will be unfinished, the sides as well. But I'm gonna do some paint and primer on the front here. And then we'll be good to go.